Hi everyone and welcome to the Smart Bear Community Interviews. This interview is part of the Inside Zephyr event that we're having in the Zephyr communities. And over the course of this event, you will not only meet the Zephyr team, but we will also talk about some cool stuff like test management, trends, and on currently in the industry. And of course, we're going to take a deep dive into the Zephyr products. And our today's guest is Milan Verma, and he is the solutions architect for Zephyr Enterprise at SmartBear. For those of you who are not familiar with the tool, Zephyr Enterprise is a robust standalone test management solution, and it can not only import data from Jira, but it also connects and consolidates data from multiple Jira instances within your organization. And I'm really excited for this interview. Uh, we're going to talk about Milan's day-to-day -day work. And also, we'll try to understand what problems Zephyr Enterprise can help you solve easily within your organization. Without further ado, hi, Milan. How are you today? Very well, Sonia. Thank you for asking. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. Um, so could you tell us a bit more about your day-to-day -day work? What's your role at SmartBear? Yeah, well, um, I uh, work as a solutions architect. Um, I help with demonstrations of the Zephyr product, Zephyr Enterprise. I um, help teams with finding out what they want to do and learn more about our solutions, whether it's Zephyr for Jira, Zephyr Enterprise, um, or Z uh, Zephyr Scale. Um, and we essentially enlighten them as to how they can accomplish their um, their uh, um, needs and uh, overcome their challenges with what we have inside the solution set. Um, and often it, it's, it's down to either demonstrations or best practice sessions or um, checking in on customers to see how they're using the solution. If there's anything in particular that they need to get training on, that's what we assist with. Thank you so much for the reply. And uh, my next question would be, what is the most rewarding part of this process? Uh, well, the re most rewarding part by far is when uh, we conduct a demonstration of uh, the solution. And often when it comes to large organizations, it'll be Zeph Enterprise that they're working with. And for me, the most rewarding part is when um, they present to me their challenges. So um, newbies come to us, they perhaps are using a test management solution today. Um, or maybe they, they're, they're not using anything and they, they kind of need something. They need a tool that underpins where they want to be, the kind of process that they want to implement. And they start, you know, after committing, after, to, after introducing some of their challenges to us, um, that we learn them, we understand what their issues are um, and how to overcome them. We've kind of seen this in many organizations already. So we understand that really, really, really well. Um, and then we demonstrate our capabilities. We demonstrate Zeph Enterprise in action and, and, and show them how these challenges that they've outlined are easily overcome. And for me, that rewarding part is seeing their eyes you know, widen with interest when they see particular features and capabilities. Um, and then they, they start to see the future. They start to see how things can be better using uh, the tool capabilities and and they see the overarching picture as well you know the, mm -hmm. the way that things could work with tools working in harmony with each other as well um, so that that value that they get from the the test management solution and then the wider value of all of the t solutions connected together mm -hmm. for me is is really really rewarding to see because that then shows them the light you know a better way of doing things um, it's the most frustrating thing when you're working with a, a tool or perhaps a lack of a tool and you're uh, obtaining bottlenecks, you know, you're, you're, a, a, you're encountering challenges which can't be overcome and it's slowing the team down, slowing down releases, uh, slowing down your capability to automate, that the software quality in general is good, but perhaps not as good as it could be. Um, this unlocks everything. So it's really rewarding to show them that. And then they, they kind of get that light bulb moment, which is quite nice. So you are the ultimate problem solver for Zephyr Enterprise. You see, my background is in consultancy, but um, mm -hmm. 
although I've worked with organizations consulting around software, my further background to that is actually in research. And um, as I started to, uh, I, I have a PhD in artificial intelligence and I used to do some lecturing wow. as well. So as I was um, uh, doing lecturing in different subjects, such as multimedia mm -hmm. and um, uh, in uh, uh, algorithms and logic and um, uh, uh, programming, uh, and also to do with GUI interfaces as well and, and AI. As we were doing that, um, mm -hmm. I found that uh, learning content, learning theory, and then uh, showing people and getting them to understand in different ways, because everybody's ability level is different, getting them to understand, getting them to appreciate the content, and then them getting that light bulb moment is quite synonymous with or, or you could see the parallels between that way of working and consultancy because in mm -hmm. consultancy you're doing essentially the same thing you're they are learning about the, the tools and capabilities that you have in your armory and then it's enlightening your customers and prospects with how they can accomplish the best out of the tools in in view of their their use cases so it's really very very similar uh, teaching and bestowing knowledge and consultancy solving pain points so yeah you're, you're quite right problem solving in a in a in a in a particular way yes it is and it's good fun mm -hmm. as well let's talk a bit about zephyr enterprise and uh what problems does it help solve well if you look at Zeph Enterprise, it is a, a test management solution which works at scale. It, it can accommodate very large numbers of users and activity, a number of, of um, uh, test cases coming in from a manual perspective or automated perspective. So it's a, a full blown feature rich scalable test management solution. But um, mm -hmm. often the challenges that we encounter um, are around the need to work faster, the need for a test management tool to accommodate that fast pace of working, um, something that's feature rich so that it can encounter different use cases from different teams, um, something which um, removes any bottlenecks with working with key solutions that are in uh, the organization already, key um, uh, tools that are already in place, whether it be for requirements, or defect management like JIRA or automation tools like your Cucumber or um, uh, Test Complete um, or Selenium or uh, CI-CD framework, any, any tools like this, so it, it essentially needs to work in harmony with those. Um, so JIRA integration is very important. Uh, automation integration is very important. Reporting is very important too. Um, and then, you know, in terms of setting up the solution, um, managing users, managing projects, authentication, and support for end-to-end -end testing, support for test case sharing using global repositories. All of these end up being very, very key parts of mm -hmm. a testing process, because it's one thing figuring out that you need a structured process for testing, but it's another thing going, you know, a few levels deeper. Okay, how can we optimize on um, our test cases uh, without having to, to kind of create them again and again, how can we reuse, mm -hmm. how can we now start to take these manual test cases and uh, build scripts so that we don't need to test manually, how can we then take that one step further without Zephyr triggering the automation tools, how to mm -hmm. uh, have an automated process of, of, um, of testing, the CICD approach, how can we do that? So. These are very, very key features which Zeph Enterprise accommodates. And it will always be the case because of um, the uh, Zephyr Ideas portal, it will always be the case that these features are never ending. It, it'll always be uh, new stuff, which are um, our customer base recommend. We then bring into the product on a quarterly basis. So these are the key things at the moment that the solution um, you know, provides scalable test management solution, integration with Jira, automation support, reporting capabilities, and administrative capabilities, all, all being quite enterprise ready. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you were to name your favorite 
feature of the tool, what would it be? It doesn't one, there is not one that exists <laughs> simply because it's not a, down to my favorite. I don't have a favorite. It's all mm -hmm. down to what our customers use, what they appreciate. And, mm -hmm. and, and they're all generally, um, you know, quite different in, in their use cases and their capabilities that they, they need a test management solution for. But um, there are some commonalities and maybe I can express those commonalities then because yeah, yeah, you know, that would if, be perfect. if they're our customers' favorite and they're our favorite really, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> so um, Jira integration um, and automation have to be the standout two items. Um, mm -hmm. You know, that, that removing that bottleneck that I previously mentioned of working with uh, Jira where requirements, uh, user stories, epics, new feature mm -hmm. uh, issue types or, or any other bespoke issue type that can be regarded as a requirement uh, is built in Jira for that to be then automatically visible in mm -hmm. Zephyr without you having to press on a sync button, without you having to wait, without there being any conflict of update or data integrity issues for it to automatically appear in Zephyr. And then for the test mm -hmm. team to be able to pick that up and build a test case around it. And you know, being certain that what they're seeing on screen from a requirements perspective is the latest and greatest real live data from Jira. Um, no, no kind of, sync delays causing the data that mm -hmm. they're seeing on screen to be old that's really compelling and then the ability for the test team to then say okay i found an issue whilst i'm test testing i need the dev team to help out here i need to raise mm -hmm. a defect that bug gets raised in zephyr for that to be raised live into jira from the zephyr ui that's really compelling too so certainly jira integration and if I were to have a favorite, it would have been the automation capabilities, simply because the way that the product management and dev team have put together that automation capability is second to none. It really is because you can uh, trigger automation tools from the testing environment. You can read a remote location and bring the automation data in, put it in. You can use mm -hmm. CI CD plugins as well to push data in. Um, but the end result is the same. The, the, all the automation data comes into Zephyr. And then you can see that alongside your manual testing work. You can see that alongside your JIRA requirements, your JIRA defects. You can then start building some quite powerful reports. So the flexibility that the automation setup, uh, Vortex and the CI CD plugins and the APIs that we have in Zephyr, that's, those are key capabilities. Those are probably my, my favorite. And uh, especially if you're using custom parses, you can get up and running with automation uh, integration very quickly and easily. Just uh, need mm -hmm. to use an automation agent and bring the data in. It's pretty quick, quick and easy and it's customizable as well. Mm -hmm. it's good because you might have a bespoke automation tool. I've been seeing some uh, automation environments that have been created in-house, you know, they're not using organizations, they're not using off-the-shelf mm -hmm. automation frameworks, they're building their, their own based upon some core libraries of existing um, you know, fr uh, development frameworks, but they're on top of that, they've, they've built their own automation framework. So they, those can be accommodated too, just build a custom parser for it and we can bring that data in. So yeah, mm -hmm. I must say Jira integration and automation um, capabilities that we have for Zephyr Enterprise. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. That was a great reply. And uh, the Jira integration part, yes, it sounds so good, really. Thank you so much. Uh, I think that we're about to finish this interview. So thank you for explaining really perfectly everything about Zephyr Enterprise. And also, uh, we're really glad that we got to meet you and understand what you're doing uh, for Zephyr Enterprise. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you Thank so you. much once again, and uh, see you. Bye. Thanks, Sonia. See you later. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.